Hey everyone, I'm here at Fort Lauderdale Executive getting a checkout in the Extra 300L, this plane right here behind me. I have a little bit of tailwheel experience, but I've never flown a tailwheel that has this much power and starting to learn how to take off and land and then get into some aerobatics later on. So come join us as I get some training with Chad Barber and let's see how this goes. Okay. All right. I'm ready for a prop cycle? Go ahead. Yep. Nice and smooth. Rocket turn going. Runway niner. Use your peripherals. Straight before I add power. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. You're good. And we'll climb at about 100, between 110 and 120, okay? Okay. Oh, that was jerky out there. I, I know. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're flying a cub, remember? <laughs> Cruise traffic, mile north, it's here, Q4, sound 1300. This is a good heading right here. Yeah, let's clear the area while we're climbing. Get a feel for the airplane, you know, don't be afraid of it. Um, it's sensitive. It is way yeah. more sensitive. I knew it was going to be sensitive, yeah. and it still exceeded my sensitivity expectation. <laughs> Back to the left. Okay, Chuck. Got out. Clear left. 604, echo turning right down and for not right. Okay. The way I want you to kind of consider these flight controls is that the ailerons are separate than the, uh, the rudder. Okay. And, and, and same with the pitch. It's all separate. So whenever you make a move, try to get the habit of kind of unloading after you make the move. So like, for instance, like if we did a steep turn, you would bank to where you want to go, then you unload, which is going back to neutral on the stick, and then pitching to hold your horizon, right? Okay. And then when you're done pitching, you unload, which is basically going back to neutral on the pitch, and then roll. So they're two separate movements, okay? It would be like a fighter, fighter pilot style way of flying. Okay. It's getting chilly up here. I know. Nice. That's why we came up here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, clear the area and uh, let's do a couple of steep turns. I don't care about if they're 180 or 360. I just want you to get you, uh, get you a little bit of a feeling there, you know? Do I have to do anything with power or anything or you just want me to pull through a casual? Uh, no power changes. Yeah. Okay. Just use the pitch. Okay. There you go. Keep your head straight ahead at that horizon. That's looking good. Little less pressure. So, can you try to get a record turn right base now? It's so powerful. I don't yeah. have to really pull through the exactly, turn. It kind yeah. of powers through on its own. Yeah. I climbed. Yeah, it's all right. Heads outside, really. Yeah. And let's get to the right. Good, good. Once you're in the bank, you don't have to do anything, right? Except pitch. Good. You feel that load factor? Yeah. Hey, there's the weight. <laughs> All right, so let's do a power up stall. Okay. So. What would you normally have your manifold at? I take that 15? back. Let's just do slow flight, 70 knots, okay? All right, I'm bringing power back to about 15, 15 on the manifold. All right. North, I have a 737 It's turning right. I would say that, yeah, okay. 15. I, I don't really recall the exact numbers, but uh, you're pitching for that uh, that speed, right? As you can see, we got a nose up attitude, right? This yep. is a higher angle of attack. So let's go ahead and do some turns this way. We'll call it 80 knots. We don't need to go to 70. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you give you, give you an idea of still the sensitivity behind the control of this airspeed. And keep in mind, when you land this airplane in a three-point attitude, it's actually not the full 1G stall speed. So, like, if you were to actually stall just over the runway, you're going to hit the tail first. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. No, County Traffic, Skyhawk 604, Echo, turning your right cross, for a 9 right now, got it. Now what I want you to do... 
is I want you to descend at 80 knots right now. Let's see how you do that. How you descend at 80 knots. Yeah, you're pitching down, which is increasing oh. your speed. Yeah, I try to pull. So this is the relationship I want you to get with the stick. Wherever your stick is set, that's an angle of attack, which is going to equate to your speed. Okay. The way the sight picture looks, though, it looks like it looks like you're you know you're not descending, right? Yeah. But actually, we're descending like this. Kind of like falling. Oh, yeah, like flat. Yeah. Face, that's how you come into land. Is like this. Well, this is this is a bit flat. slower than we come into land, but. Oh, I'm just showing you the relationship between yeah. that you're holding your stick in one position and your power is how you're how you're uh, whether or not you're climbing or descending if that makes sense Yeah. So if, you, so if you keep the stick where it's at now and slowly add power and try to hold that 2500 yes and that's just driving it in you know good good okay Let's transition to a power off stall, okay? All right. And when when the the recovery method I want you to use, don't touch the power. I just want you to unload the wing a little, okay? Okay. Because once you have airflow, you have control again. Keep that nose coming back. Let's hold that 2,500 feet. You're outside, okay? Traffic airflow echo turn for final. There's the buffet. Traffic is tight. No, can. Good. So you just lower the angle of attack. All right, let's go back to 23 inches of power. As you add that power, you got to feather in a little bit of right foot because there's a lot of P-factor on that angle. Uh-huh. Very nice. And you're just going to climb into a power-on stall. Okay. Yeah, this is almost like a departure stall. Although you have pretty much, you have less power, but it's still going to simulate it. Feeding in a little bit of right rudder. That 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 prop is taking a larger bite of air. There's the little buffet. I don't have power. Sorry. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Let's try it again. Go right back into it. Go right back into it. Using your peripherals, checking the wings. They're level. Okay, traffic zero for echo. Departure. There's right a little buffet. Uh, we have the, uh, now you've got re control of the plane. Point for uh, spacing. I mean, do you feel like you? It yeah, feels better already. I do feel uh, it yeah. is very sensitive. That's nice. Yeah, I like how you're connecting your aileron with your foot for that 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 adverse yaw. Yeah. You know. Let me show you adverse yaw. Actually, okay. this might be kind of cool. Okay, my control. Your control. All right, I'm just gonna keep us out of that, Charlie. We'll climb up a little bit. Getting a little bit of right rudder because we got a P factor that's wanting us to yaw to the left. All right, so adverse yaw is most most effective. I mean, most noticed when you're slow, right? Yeah. It's putting a high angle of attack on the on the ailerons. North County traffic. Okay. So I'm gonna give you an example of what happens if you don't connect your rudder to your ailerons at a slow airspeed. Okay. So this is without rudder at first. I'm gonna bank left and right, and you're gonna notice when I bank left that the nose is gonna swing to the right, vice versa. Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll start with the left and right. So anytime you add that, you see how it swings? Yeah. It's swinging a ton. I'm not I feel using it any, on my butt cheek. Yeah, I'm not yeah. using any rudder. That's adverse yaw. Okay. So the exercise is do this. Now we're going to add add the rudder to it so that nose is kind of painted, right? Right. That way you don't feel pressure on one side of your body yeah. more than the other. All right, high speed taxi. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna taxi at a three point, three point attitude, okay? Okay. Uh, you get up to speed. Not full power, and if you have too much power, you might need to bring a little bit back. But we're just gonna go down the runway, and you're gonna you're gonna walk it out. You're gonna feel how the airplane tracks at a certain speed. If I, if I say, at a three point. Huh? At a three point. At a three point. Yes. Yep. And. Um, and North County traffic. Uh, Red Extra is lining up nine right. We'll be a high speed taxi down the runway. All right. Just feel it out, okay? You don't have to, you don't have to rush anything. We're not taking off, okay? Yeah, Hold it there, yeah. Thank you. Two mile final. And what you're doing is you're using your peripherals. 
I don't know how much further we have. You're fine, I'm watching. Bring the power to idle. There you go. Okay, Travis Guy, uh, V54 is on a yellow mop on 389 right on the island, North County. Slowly bringing those brakes. County 5 Echo Pop is not one for 9 right, North County. Okay, that's a V54 is on the North Java. We'll go on to the North You don't have to be perfect at this stuff, but you need to be a good decision maker, yeah. you know, and you, you have to give yourself an out, a go around, whatever it is. If you feel like you're not stable, just go back and do it again, you know? Yeah. A lot of people just try to like... Make it work. Do everything first the right, I mean, <laughs> do it right the first time around, you know? So, I mean, that's important. Decision making is huge when you're flying a high performance airplane like this. Yeah. All right, so my last takeoff, I didn't love, I felt uncomfortable on that. You, had, you had an lie. early tail up, I, I thought. Okay. In North County, extra departing uh, nine right, stay the better. I did it! That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That's good. Woo! All right. <laughs> good, looking good. Just drive it in. Speed is okay. Yeah, you're you're okay. You're okay. Let's let's get to the runway and you can start bringing that power back. There you go. Start slowly bringing the power back. Uh, North County says the 1791 Victor left traffic for the ground. Yeah, bring it back. Hold it off. Hold, hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. Don't melt the stick. One spot. Good. A little left. Good. 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 You ready to roll? Yeah. You do it. Power? Yep. Jupiter Uno. Oh, oh. oh, I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's do extra pilot. Let's get yeah. out of here. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> That's a wrap on my first day of training with Chad. Everything went really great. I think that you'll notice from the video how timid I was, especially on that first takeoff and felt like this plane was too much. I wasn't so sure how long this checkout would take for me. But you'll also see in the video some audible screams like when I actually got it and nailed the landing. So a really fun day of training to see lots of improvement, some really great instruction by Chad. And stay tuned and we'll get into some more aerobatic stuff on the next flight.